what I'm on. Ducking these haters, man, that's what I'm on. Keeping it clear, man, that's what I'm on. That's what I'm on. That's what I'm on. Keeping it solid, man, that's what I'm on. Flipping my quality, man, that's what I'm on. Pull it in, rocket, man, that's what I'm on. That's what I'm on. That's what I'm on. Stacking my paper, man, that's what I'm on. Ducking these haters, man, that's what I'm on. Keeping it clear, man, that's what I'm on. That's what I'm on. That's what I'm on. Keeping it solid, man, that's what I'm on. Flipping my quality, man, that's what I'm on. Pull it in, rocket, man, that's what I'm on. That's what I'm on. That's what I'm on. Yeah, I be on some other shit. Came up from nothing hustling. Y'all boys on this sucker shit. Out here begging in the suffering. I ain't asking for no handouts. Hit the streets and got them bands out. Been trill, yeah, I been bout it. Gang sour, had to rewrite it. Bigger, bigger, bigger cars, bigger houses, better cush, more thousands. Stand down, stand true. Keep these fuck niggas from round me. Lame niggas wanna down me. Man, but you bitch wanna crown me. What up, YouTube? Welcome to the uh, shop vlog. Uh, kind of not feeling this red. Then we still didn't get a chance to finish it. So, uh, even though red is my favorite color, but um, just not feeling it. I kind of want to go with more of a professional looking color, like a gray. Uh, I don't really too much care for um, this red anymore. Mainly because, like I told you guys, I, I've been saying in the last few videos, man, I've been going through a lot of bullshit with the shop. And now I done fired my whole crew. I done fired everybody. Um, it's just me and teaching my son. And it's just really me and him right now until I can trust another crew again so i'm just trying to erase all this negativity this was the same way my last shop and that's where the, the negativity started and i felt like since i kind of brought the same theme to this shop i brought the same bullshit here so um what we're going to do is tear it all down and redo it so more than likely going to go with a color like it's in my office gray do it gray and black just to kind of give it a, a more professional feel. So um, that's what we're gonna do. So right now we're taking everything off the walls, moving it into one of the offices back here. And I'm gonna go ahead and take all the covers off and um, start fixing holes in the wall, like where this monitor was at, getting some putty, fixing it and uh, go from there so uh, probably gonna get some contractors in here to see if they can clean this floor better I'm gonna do all I'm gonna replace all the ones that's hanging we're gonna repaint we're gonna paint the roof black so we're gonna give it a better feel so all right YouTube we're gonna move everything to the next office and uh, I'll let you know when we get everything We'll be back once we get everything moved. All right, YouTube. Finally got everything almost situated. I'm not going to take this down. Well, I might have to since it's red. I'm going to have to take this down. So I'm going to take it down later. Uh, I'm going to go buy a pallet or a case of these. Then we're going to shave this water fountain. Take this out, shave it, it don't get used anymore. And that's it, man. So, alright, we'll be back. What up, YouTube? That boy, clean it up. Welcome back to the shop vlog, uh, remodeling. So we just start pulling. Come to find out, man, we painted over wallpaper. So uh, snatching all this shit down. Uh, just had a contractor come out here, wrote up a contract. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be tearing this wall, all of this down. So everything in here, we're gonna be moving out the way. Just all this right here is unplugged. Just all the stuff that's on the floor, move it over there first and then we're gonna try to drag this is one piece over there 
Then we're gonna start taking the computer monitor, the printer, and that over there. Then we're gonna do the desk last. Good. So he already gave me an estimate. That's the estimate right there. So um he will be back. He said he'll start today around about 1.30, so that should be about another hour. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to open it up a little bit more. We're going to open up the space and make it a little bigger. So we're going to knock this wall down. We're going to knock this wall down. And eventually, we're going to knock this wall down. And I actually want to set a car. I want to build a car and put a car on display right there. And... I pointed this window. So this wall will be here. So I just kind of want to set a car like right here, rope it around and you know, that's gonna come later. Um, the same guy that's doing this, he's gonna do that. So uh, we're gonna do one thing at a time. If he, if he do a good job on this, and then once this is over with, we're gonna go ahead and knock this wall down right after it. So, all right, YouTube, we're just waiting on, uh, him to get back and uh, get started. So in the meantime, in between time, we're gonna clean it up, clean up for him. So when he get here, he can go straight to work. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Ah, please forgive me, man. I need to shave. I'm already going bald. I'm already bald. But uh, y'all know in the last few little clips and videos, and I done said it over the next videos y'all going to see in the future, that uh, since I got this shop, I've been going through bullshit. Well, the last clip you just saw was... A guy that, that I met through a buddy of mine who do remodeling. And, um, <laughs> you know, everything's been going good today. Everything's been going good today. Until the bullshit done happen. Yes, I don't know what is up with this shop. But uh, it seems like no matter what I try to do, what I try to accomplish with this shop, it, it, it bullshit comes to play before i don't know I, I honestly don't know but uh let me show y'all what just happened i'm pretty sure y'all was like damn b everything was going good in the clips he was knocking the wall down man god damn man what could possibly done happen let me show you now y'all know i'm gonna milk it a little bit you know he got this wall tore down a little bit but y'all see this pole right here go ahead and imagine what's going on so you know starting to look good i'm actually starting to like it because my shop is starting to get open 
you know, starting to get more space. When you walk in, you starting to get more space. I'm starting to like it. So, uh, I go to grab some McDonald's. When I come back in the door with my McDonald's, front door right here, I'm like, ooh, starting to see open space. But then I looked up, bam, the whole motherfucking ceiling is coming down. The whole fucking ceiling is coming down. Now, this is not a load bearing wall. But what they did was these tracks is mounted to this wall that hold these uh I forgot what you call it. I got a lot of shit going on. So y'all don't know these uh ceiling tiles or whatever the fuck you want to call it. So but he came here this morning and uh I asked him, this doing this, you guys, let me first let me say, doing this was was not a big deal. You know, I just got the idea that I wanted to open up the shop, open up the floor a lot bigger, build me a nice counter right there, and just get more showroom. Possibly put a car in here. Because I want to knock this wall down and I want to build a bad car or build a truck and possibly put it right here in my floor. I think that'll be badass. That's always been my dream to have a custom shop with a badass car on the showroom floor. So I asked dude, I said, hey man, if this wall is holding up this ceiling, it's not a big deal to tear it down. We don't have to tear it down. I'm just, I'm just curious. Every, every idea doesn't have to be a reality. You know what I'm saying? Every dream doesn't have to be a reality. So I'm like, dude, it's, it's not a big deal. If it can happen, then let's do it. But if my whole ceiling is going to cave in, then it's not that big of a deal. Man, so this guy, he gets up, he looks, he looks, he looks, and he looks. He gets on the ladder. He looks up there. Okay. Then he looks again. Then he comes out here in the shop. I'm going to do what he did. He comes out here in the shop. He looks again. And he comes back in here. And he says, B. That wall ain't holding up nothing. I said, cool. Are you sure? He said, yes. I said, are you sure? He said, yes. Gave me a price. And I said, when can you get started? He said, man, I'll be right back. And I'll be here at 1.30. 1.30 on the dot. My man came through the door and started. And started. And here we go. Three and a half hours later. There we go. So, man, y'all, it was a lot worse than this. They actually caught it before it, yeah, it was worse. Him, he had his son with him, and uh, it was a lot worse. Because I, at first, when I was standing, when I first was walking in the door, I could actually see back over there in the inside the warehouse. So, it was a lot worse, but hey. But anyway, YouTube, uh, shop reconstruction or shop remodeling part one <laughs> it's gonna end here <laughs> hey man y'all will see part two of how this shit ends man y'all will see on part two how this shit goes tomorrow he's supposed to bring his electrician in to so this right here because right here is turns it off so he's supposed to be putting that to that wall and getting rid of this plug so hey if it don't cost me any more money and he's able to fix this well it's not gonna cost me any more money because uh i asked him more than twice was he sure and he said more than twice that he was so only way to cost me more money if he decides to say fuck it runs with the deposit that i paid and don't come back but Hopefully that don't happen, so let's knock on wood. Nah, let's not knock on that. It might make that whole bitch fall down. So, anyway, YouTube, that's where we are. So, 
Uh, damn. Subscribe and see what I do next. That's how he gonna do You put them on up. What up, YouTube? Last little clip y'all seen was the crane. So, uh, this is where we're at now. He done cut out the the little electrical thing and now he's moving it out the way so um, I went ahead and gave him the green light well he haven't gave me a price he's supposed to be cutting out this wall from here up on around and cutting all of this out and that's where I'm going to put a car I'm going to put the car right here so that's gonna be kind of like my little showroom car area roped around and he's supposed to be making this bigger probably starting about right here cutting up here going across here to there so we can drive a car in here so he hasn't given me a price on it yet but more than likely we're gonna do it uh, so we're gonna let him finish this bullshit first this junk pile here first and then we're gonna move to that so uh, we'll be back once he get done or we'll get this side finished we'll turn into day three so I gotta go look at some ideas for some doors. I don't know how I wanna do it yet. So I might do it like my partner shop. So I'm gonna go out there. If I go out there, I take I bring you guys with me and take a look at it. Damn. My bad YouTube. If I do it like my partner shop, I'm gonna go out there and take some pictures and videos of his shop and I'll show you how his is made. I'm thinking about doing it the same way. But uh Stay tuned. I'll let you know if we go out there. Y'all will see it in the next clip. All right, YouTube. Phase one is done. Uh, the roof is going to be black. So uh, when we paint the roof, it's going to all sink in. But um, I'm going to paint all of these, everything up here black. So, phase one is done. We done knocked the wall down. We didn't actually put a, uh, a opening for a window in my office. And I'm going to put a one-way glass here where I can see out, but you can't see in. Uh, phase two, which is going to get started on today, later on today, is he's going to knock this wall out. And that's where I'm going to set a car. 
We'll put a car on my showroom floor. Either it's going to be a customer's car, maybe the Challenger. The Challenger might sit there for a couple of months or, you know, the Tracker. Uh, you guys haven't seen that yet, but that, that video is coming next. My Tracker might sit there or I might build, put a, put a, a body, or just buy a body, an STM body and just slick the paint out and lower it on some wheels without a motor, without a drivetrain and set it there just to show how how my paint jobs look. You know, haven't made any solid decisions on what I'm gonna put right there. But for the time being, I will put the Challenger there because I, I got it since the winter. And then when she get it, I'll find something else to put there. So, um, but yeah. That's phase two. Phase three is we're going to put a fish tank in this wall right here. Um, I found one. I found a 150 gallon tank. I'm going to try to go get it tomorrow. Um, but we're going to, it's about 79 inches. So it's going to take up mainly this whole wall. So it's going to take up from about right here to about right here. I think is what I measured. It's 79, it's 80 inches long. So it's pretty big. It's going to take majority of the wall. So um, we're gonna get it tomorrow and we're gonna put a fish tank in that wall and then we're gonna put a TV above the wall, above the fish tank, so. And that's it, oh. And next thing is, we're gonna make this opening bigger. We're gonna cut out from like right here. We need about six and a half feet. So we measured, I probably won't be able to get a truck in here but definitely cars. Um, we measured this 300 from mirror to mirror and it's about 6.2 feet. So um, we might do a six and a half or we might do a seven feet, seven feet opening, um, depending on what type of door I find. So, um, and a car will just be able to just back in and back straight in there, that spot and we're gonna rope it around. So, yep. All right, you two, that's it. Once we get started uh, tearing down this wall, we, uh, um, we'll save that for vlog too. Uh, I can't wait, man, to, to see what we go through, man. We had some issues with this one, with the wall caving in, so hopefully this one go by nice and easy, so. Man, stay tuned, man. Subscribe and see what we do next. Part two of vlog, shop, remodeling, whatever you want to call it. Part two coming up next.